Okay, so here is the hip dance. The whole point of this sequence is to get your hip joint moving in all of the six ranges that it moves in. So we have your flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, as well as your internal and external rotation. So let's take you to it. Real basic stuff. You're going to take one foot, you're going to plant it there so that it is solid. That's going to be your focus hip joint. So what we're going to do is step forward with the other leg. What happens? We're in extension with that hip. We're going to take a step back. What happens? We're now in flexion with the hip. What we're going to do now is cross over and we are in adduction with that hip. Then we're going to step to the side. Now we're in abduction with that hip. We're going to go back over this way, cross over, face your body that way. We're now rotating internally with the hip. Then we're going to step to the side and we're going to face that way with the entire body, taking that hip into external rotation. So if we go through that sequence, you're just going to tap forward, you're going to tap back, you're going to cross over, you're going to cross to the side, you're going to turn, and we're going to turn. And that is taking your new hip through all of the ranges of motion that it should be going through on a daily basis. So that's going to keep it nice and loomed up. So what you can start to do once you get the hang of it is expand those steps. So now maybe this becomes a bit more of a lunge forward, a little bit more of a lunge backward. Take a bigger step to the side, lunge it out to the side. We're going to take a little spin this way, take a little spin this way. So play with it a little bit. The big key thing is keeping this foot in a planted stationary position while the other one dances around it. So you want to be careful of torquing at the knee. Make sure that the motion comes from the hip when you perform the movements. And that's it. Simple way to keep those hips nice and looped up and in good condition.